Okay, Shalom Israel. Okay, um, where was I? Let's go to verse 14. When the sin which they have sinned against it is known, then the congregation shall offer a young bullock for the sin and bring him before the tabernacle of the congregation and the elders of the congregation shall lay their hands upon the head of the bullock before the Lord and the bullock shall be killed before the Lord. All right. Now I'm going to stop right there. You can continue to read. It's very important to continue to read this Israel. I'm just, this is my proof showing you that the most high did not say anything about the children of Israel getting baptized. And he did not, it was not written that all nations um, is going to come together and he was going to send his son, Jesus, the most high, the, the most high never said that the children of Israel, we are the chosen. We are the children of Israel. We are Israel. All right. Like I say, in the old Testament, when the most high is saying him servant, he's talking about us, the people. Israel, not no Jesus. Israel is his firstborn, is his son. All right. Now, um, I want to read Hosea. Go to Hosea. Turn with me to Hosea. I'm gonna try to turn uh get to Hosea with one hand. Hopefully I can. Nope, nope, don't want to go there. Oh, thank it. Okay, let's go to Hosea chapter three. Now, this is the verses, the um scripture I was talking about, these verses right here, Hosea chapter three, four and five. I'm going to read it. For the children of Israel shall, shall abide many days without a king and without a prince. All right. And without a sacrifice and without an image. And without an ephod and without teraphim, afterward shall the children of Israel return and seek the Lord their God and David their king. As you know, Israel, David is going to be our king forever. He's our shepherd. All right. He's going to be our king, not no Jesus. And shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. Okay. Now, this is in the most high word. This is Hosea. All right. Now, I want to go to Job. Let's go to Job. Wow, something's running over there. I don't want to see the New Testament. I really don't want to see that New Testament. So if I'm working with one hand, okay, I'm, I'm going to turn too far back. Okay, Israel, I'm, I'm in Job, but I'm going to still haven't gotten to Job 15. So turn with me to Job 15. Okay, I'm there. I cheated some because, like I said, I'm working with one hand. I tried to do it with one, but I couldn't because I'm holding something to hold my um camera selfie stick okay um all right i'm at job 15 i want you to go down i'm gonna go down to 14 starting 14 now this is elphis if i'm saying the name right response from um job all right he's saying what is man that he should be clean and he which is born of a woman that he should be righteous. I went to that verse right there because, as you know, this Jesus was born from a woman. All right. From this virgin, from a woman. And he's clean. He's perfect. And he's doing these miracles, healings. So right there. In verse 14, when he says, what is a man? He asking a question, what is a man that he should be clean? 
and he which is born of a woman. Like, what is a man? He should be clean. He's not clean. You know, being born from a woman, a man is unclean. That's why you're asking the question, like, what is a man that he should be clean? And he which is born of a woman, that he should be righteous. All right, let's go to um, verse 15. Behold, he put it no trust in his saints. Yea. The heavens are not clean in his sight. How much more abominable and filthy is man, which drinketh iniquity like water. Now, you see that for yourself. I mean, that's that's like the icing on the cake. And I could go back and read um, when Job is saying, man that is born of a woman in Job 14 is a few days and full of trouble. I mean, right here, you know, this stuff was written in the Old Testament prophecies. You know, the Most High knew. These people knew about this Jesus. This stuff was already written, you know, or else it wouldn't even be in the Old Testament. And it's something because these Christians, they don't like this doctrine that we bring forth that they hear about you know they hate it but when they take money from people and they deceive in our people you know they like to cherry pick go to certain scriptures and verses in the old testament to put with they jesus you know like that's that that ain't right but i'm gonna let the most high deal with them let's go to job chapter 19 Let's go to Job chapter 19. I'm going to start reading at verse 7. All right. Behold, I cry out of wrong, but I am not heard. Now, this is Job. He's saying, behold, I cry out of wrong, but, but I am not heard. I cry aloud, but there is no judgment. He hath fenced up my way. That I cannot pass, and he hath set darkness in my paths. He hath stripped me of my glory and taken the crown from my head. He hath destroyed me on every side, and I am gone, and mine hope have re and my hope hath. He removed like a tree. He hath also. He hath also kindled his wrath against me. And he counted me unto him as one of his enemies. I'm going to stop right there. Now. I went to these verses because I want you to see Israel that there is no devil. There is no Jesus. The most high creates evil. As you see here, this is Job starting at verse seven. Behold, I cry out of wrong, but I am not heard. I cry aloud, but there is no judgment. He hath fenced up my way that I cannot pass. And he hath set darkness in my path. So you think you when you going through something going through something dark and, and, and dealing with things in your life, your loved ones dying and, you know, passing away and bad things happening. That's the most high putting that in your path. He's putting the darkness. That's I am that I am. It's not Jesus. You have to go through it. That's why this prayer, these Christians, oh, I'm going to pray for you. It's going to be okay. I'm going to pray for you. And, you know, and, you know, don't know. You shouldn't want them people to pray for you. Because evidently, the Most High, he's doing it. He is doing it. They had to go because it was their time. It don't even make sense. Why would they pray for you concerning somebody's death? What you praying about? The Most High is in control of everything. Everything. 
All the spirits comes from the most height. He created the evil. He does everything. Not no Jesus. Jesus um, the most high did not send, G send Jesus to, to tell people, all nations, to come together and get baptized and, and teach. And you will have the Holy Ghost. No. If you had power, you Christians, if y'all had power in this Holy Ghost, you wouldn't even be sinning right now. You wouldn't even be losing your loved ones. You wouldn't even be having loved ones in the hospital that's sick. You wouldn't even be going through nothing. Nothing that's in darkness. You would you would be perfect. You would be able to fly around. You got so much power though. You have no power, you Christians. Because if you did, you would not be sinning. And you would be able to heal people. But you can't because you have no power. The most high I am that I am contro controls everything. That's why I don't have nothing to do with you people. I don't want to have nothing to do with none of you all because I don't do that. And it, it hurts me because I was that person being deceived. But I thank the most high for, for leading me up out of that. But um, I'm going to continue to read. Um, I want to, um, let me see, don't Job 15. I want to go to continue to read Job. I'm still in Job chapter 19 and I'm going to continue to read. I'm starting at 12. His troops come together and raise up their way against me and encamp and encamp round about my tabernacle. He hath put my brethren Far from me and mine and acquaintance are verily estranged from me. My kinsfolk have failed in my familiar, I mean, my, yeah, familiar friends have forgotten me. This is Job. He said, my familiar friends have forgotten me. They that dwell in my house and my maids count me for a stranger. I am an alien in their sight. I called. I called my servant and he gave me no answer. I entreated him with my mouth. I'm going to stop right there. This is when, you know, if you read Job, you will see that. Um. The most high asks Satan, you know, he asked him, you know, what are you doing in the earth? He said, I'm going to and fro. He, he said, have, have you considered my servant Job, my servant Job? All right. Because he's upright. He's 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 an upright man. He's faithful to the most. High. Not faithful. I don't want to use that word, but he's good to the most high. He's been a good servant. All right. So the most high did all these things to. Job, he gave Satan permission to mess with him like that. Remind you, the Most High creates evil. He do the commands. Now, I know Jesus. It's always been I am that I am. Our Father, the Most High, the God of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob with the capital G. No other gods. No other gods. But anyway, um, when it's concerning Israel. Let's go to Job 19. Let's go to Job 19. Hey. Oh yeah, I was just sorry, Israel. I was just at joke. Last one. Let's go to Jeremiah. I'm going to continue this out on the next video, Israel. Okay, bear with me, stick with me. Shalom.